Question 29.20. Questioner, then when our planet is fully into fourth density, will there be a greater gravity? Answer, I am Ra. There will be a greater spiritual gravity thus causing a denser illusion. Question 29.21. Questioner, this denser illusion then I would assume increases gravitational acceleration above the 32 feet per second squared that we experience. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Your entities do not have the instrumentation to measure spiritual gravity but only to observe a few of its extreme manifestations. Question 29.22. Questioner, this I know, that we can't measure spiritual gravity, but I was just wondering if the physical effect could be measured as an increase in the gravitational constant? That was my question. Answer, I am Ra. The increase measurable by existing instrumentation would and will be statistical in nature only and not significant. Question 29.23. Questioner, okay as the creation is formed, as the atoms form as rotations of the vibration which is light, they coalesce in a certain manner sometimes. They produce a lattice structure which we call crystalline. I am guessing that because of the formation from intelligent energy of the precise crystalline structure that it is possible by some technique to tap intelligent energy and bring it into the physical illusion by working through the crystalline structure. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct only insofar as the crystalline physical structure is charged by a correspondingly crystallized or regularized or balanced mind-body-spirit complex. Question 29.24. Questioner, I don't wish to get off on subjects of no importance, but it is difficult sometimes to see precisely in what direction to go. I would like to investigate a little bit more this idea of crystals, how they are used. I am assuming then from what you said that in order to use the crystal to tap intelligent energy, it is necessary to have a partially undistorted mind, body, spirit complex. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is specifically correct. Question 29.25 Questioner, there must be a point at which the removal of distortion reaches the minimum for use of the crystal in tapping intelligent energy. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct only if it is understood, shall we say, that each mind, body, spirit complex has a unique such point. Question 29.26 Questioner, can you tell me why each mind, body, spirit complex has this unique point of distortion ridding? Answer, I am Ra. Each mind, body, spirit complex is an unique portion of the one creator. Question 29.27. Questioner, then you are saying that there is no single level of purity required to tap intelligent energy through crystals but there can be a wide variation in the amount of distortion that an entity may have but each entity has to reach his particular point of what I might call energizing the ability. Is this right? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The necessity is for the mind, body, spirit complex to be of a certain balance, this balance thus enabling it to reach a set level of lack of distortion. The critical difficulties are unique for each mind, body, spirit complex due to the experiential distillations which in total are the, shall we say, via the trabing mess of each such entity. This balance is what is necessary for work to be done in seeking the gateway to intelligent infinity through the use of crystals or through any other use. No two mind, body, spirit crystallized natures are the same. The distortion requirements, vibrationally speaking, are set. Question 29.28 Questioner, I see. Then if you are able to read the violet ray of an entity, to see that ray, is it possible to immediately determine whether the entity could use crystals to tap intelligent energy? Answer, I am Ra. It is possible for one of fifth density or above to do this. Question 29.29. Questioner, is it possible for you to tell me how an entity who has satisfactorily achieved the necessary violet ray qualification should use the crystal? Answer, I am Ra. The gateway to intelligent infinity is born of, shall we say, the sympathetic vibration in balanced state accompanying the will to serve, the will to seek. Question 29.30. Questioner. Can you tell me precisely what the entity would do with the crystal to use it for the purpose of seeking the intelligent infinity? 
Answer, I am Ra. The use of the crystal in physical manifestation is that use wherein the entity of crystalline nature charges the regularized physical crystal with this seeking, thus enabling it to vibrate harmonically, and also become the catalyst or gateway whereby intelligent infinity may thus become intelligent energy, this crystal serving as an analog of the violet ray of the mind, body, spirit in relatively undistorted form. Question 29.31 Questioner is it possible for you to instruct us in the specific uses of crystals? Answer, I am Ra. It is possible. There are, we consider, things which are not efficacious to tell you due to possible infringement upon your free will. Entities of the Confederation have done this in the past. The uses of the crystal, as you know, include the uses for healing, for power, and even for the development of life forms. We feel that it is unwise to offer instruction at this time as your peoples have shown a tendency to use peaceful sources of power for disharmonious reasons. Question 29.32 Questioner, is it possible for you to give me an example of various planetary developments in what I would call a metaphysical sense having to do with the development of consciousness and its polarities throughout the galaxy? In other words I believe that some of these planets develop quite rapidly into higher density planets and some take longer times. Can you give me some idea of that development? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the final full query of this session. The particular logos of your major galaxy has used a large portion of its coalesced material to reflect the beingness of the Creator. In this way there is much of your galactic system which does not have the progression of which you speak but dwells spiritually as a portion of the Logos. Of those entities upon which consciousness dwells there is, as you surmise, a variety of time-space periods during which the higher densities of experience are attained by consciousness. Question 29.33 Questioner, the instrument had a question if we have time for a short question. I will read it. The instrument does not desire to do physical healing work. She already does spiritual balancing by hands. Can she read the private healing material without doing physical healing? I am assuming that she means can she read it without creating problems in her life pattern? She does not wish to incur lessening of positive polarity. Can she read the material under these conditions? Answer, I am Ra. We shall speak shortly due to the fact that we are attempting to conserve this instrument's vital energies during the three-month period of which we have spoken. This entity has an experiential history of healing on levels other than the so-called physical. Thus it is acceptable that this material be read. However, the exercise of fire shall never be practiced by this instrument as it is used in the stronger form for physical healing. Is there any short query further before we close? Question 29.34. Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. You are conscientious. The entity is well aligned. I am Ra. I leave you now in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.